Hello World Boyfriend back, and this is a very special episode of Booty Bonanza. It is the 30th edition. I don't know why I chose to celebrate the 30th edition. I haven't done, I haven't ce celebrated the 20th or the 25th. I mean, what makes 30 so special? I don't know, but we're gonna celebrate it like it's more special than the others. Plus, I have a ton of stuff today, a wide range, uh, and some really good stuff. So why not? Let's freaking celebrate the 30th edition of Booty Bonanza. See, I'm even using the big box today because the shoe box was not big enough. That's, that's how crazy the stuff is today. I got, it's, oh my gosh. So let's get into it. Happy 30th Booty Bonanza, everybody. Let's start with a manual. Haven't done a manual in a while. And this one is for Game Boy Color X-Men Wolverine's Rage. Now, why I have this is only because uh, this game store I was at was gonna throw it away. So I was like, well, on the off chance that X-Men Wolverine's Rage becomes an extremely rare game and a rare manual, well, I'm gonna pick it up. So, smells like money to me. Anybody want it? $1,000 and it is yours. Uh, yeah, so that's why I got that. Uh, let's do some handhelds. So I got a couple different handheld uh, games. Three, to be exact. A couple is two, but I got a three. So we'll say a few. Let's start with Game Boy. A couple of awesome games, actually. One I've been looking for for a while, and that is Batman the Animated Series. Uh, this is fun. Uh, platformer Batman game. Um, it's difficult. It's hard. I only got to the second stage, but I, I dig it. I don't know if there's a password system or maybe there's a level select cheat. I don't know, but it was fun. I'm looking forward to going back. It, it seemed like, you know, uh, every level is a different Batman rogues gallery bad guy. You know, first level was Joker. I think second level was Mr. Freeze, I want to say. That's as far as I got. Anyway, looking forward to playing more of that. Uh, the second game I got, this game, friggin' rules. I recommend this so much, and that is Kirby's Block Ball. So it's basically Breakout with Kirby, but it's so much has so much more depth than Breakout. First of all, you have in almost every level, level you have two or more paddles. So you have one on the bot. What was I doing? This? No, that doesn't make sense. Uh, I got it. I got it. <laughs> That's how it goes. Uh, so you got one on the bottom that's bouncing Kirby, and you got one on the side, and, um, you know, it's breakout. You gotta break all the blocks, but you have boss fights, and there's different worlds. It's really fun, and it's even one of those games that has an ending, like a, a bad ending and a good ending, and I got the friggin' bad ending. I didn't even realize that you were supposed to collect flags or something in each level. I, I didn't know. Um, but I'm, I would happily go back and play to completion and, and get that 100% and face King DDD. Uh, is it DDD or DD? King DD? Oh gosh, no, I don't know. I don't know my Kirby lore. Anyway, so that was really fun. Oh, plus that's a game that works on the Super Game Boy, so when you plug it in, it, it, it's all colorful and wonderful. So highly recommend Kirby's Black Ball. The next game, been looking for this for a while, Metroid Fusion. So this was, uh, there was Metroid Zero Mission and Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance. Holy friggin' crap. This game is awesome as well. Uh, I highly recommend it. It, it. it says when the screen comes up, I didn't realize, it's Metroid 4. I mean, it's like the legit sequel. I, I thought it was more of like an offshoot, like a Gaiden. But uh, no, it's like the legit sequel to Metroid 4. And it is, how have I missed this game? It's, it's straight up. Uh, just like Super Metroid. I love it, and it's just as good. One minor complaint, uh, the thing that I would say sets it just below Super Metroid is it, it holds your hand a lot. It tells you exactly where to go, and nothing wrong with that, I guess, but I kind of like the not knowing where to go, the exploration aspect of uh, Super Metroid, so I kind of would have liked to just feel it out on my own instead of like after every... Uh, checkpoint or boss it's like okay this is the next thing you have to do so uh, minor complaint though it's a very fun game Metroid Fusion I think that was it for the uh, handheld systems Oh, I'll show this I picked up a pretty pretty nice Super Nintendo controller always good to have these on hand and 
Uh, Super Nintendo controllers are hard to come by, so this one I got for a good deal. I don't remember what I got it for, but it was a good deal. Otherwise, I would not have got it. Uh, okay. I did pick up one NES game, and it's one I've been looking for forever. Haven't had a chance to play it yet, but that's Vice Project Doom. So this is a game that in recent years has really uh, shot up in popularity. To be honest, I can't even tell you. I think it's a platformer, but it might have like elements from different uh, uh, different genres within the same game. Platformer, I don't know, maybe driving. I, I, I honestly, I haven't got a chance to play it yet. This is the most recent pickup I had, but it's really good condition. And I was uh, very excited to find it, and I'm very excited to play it. I'm sure it's good. I'm going to re recommend it anyway. So there you go. Play Vice Project Doom. Uh, this next game, another huge recommendation. Been looking for it forever. PlayStation. Intelligent Cube. So this has got to be like one of the best, if not the best, puzzle game on the original PlayStation. And it's very hard to describe, but so there's this little tiny man running away from giant cubes on the cover there. And you want to make all the cubes disappear before they fall off the ledge. So you have so many, you're kind of on a grid and you have so many turns because they go one turn, two turns, three turns. And you have so many turns before they fall off the ledge and you want to make all the blocks disappear, except for the black ones, which are bad, uh, and you don't want to get squished. It's kind of like a math game. So you're doing this counting, you're trying to, to maximize how to get rid of the most blocks in the less amount of turns. Uh, and there's even a little par counter in the corner. So like uh, you want to hit that or get under it even if you can, which can be really difficult sometimes. I don't think I explained that well at all. That was the most confusing <laughs> explanation ever. But uh, look up gameplay. It's really fun, really simple, and I made it sound like the most difficult game ever. So anyway, yeah, Intelligent Cube. Uh, got a couple DVDs. I always love sharing DVDs with you guys. And actually one of them I can't remember if I showed in a pickup video. <laughs> Uh, but I'm going to show it anyway if I already did, because I love these guys, and that is The Game Chasers. Uh, this is season three, and holy crap, I mean, um, these guys really do a good job with their DVD sets. Totally worth it, in my opinion, and I've, I've got them all. I got all the special edition, or collector's edition, I guess, and uh, man, Billy does great with the special features, the um, Easter eggs. I mean, it's like every, you can tell he's a lover of special edition DVDs and stuff because he, he just goes all out and adds as much as he possibly can. Uh, there's even like a, a game on this one, which is crazy. So I just, I, I cannot recommend this enough. If you've never seen the Game Chasers, you gotta check it out. Um, it's, yeah, well done, Billy, or whoever else works on it. Melvor, I don't think Jay works on it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it's, Majority Billy. Uh, and then the second DVD I, I came across, so I like showing you guys uh, cartoon shows that I've been getting back into from my childhood. And this is one that I have been dying to watch again. Vice Project Doom is actually not the most recent pickup. It's the most recent game pickup, but the most recent pickup for this video is this DVD. It came not 10 minutes ago in the mail. And I was like, ooh, time to do a pickup video. And that is... Pirates of Dark Water. So this is such an underrated gem. And unfortunately it was canceled before its time, only had 21 episodes, and a part of the, the, the series is hinged on the fact that they're searching for these treasures. Uh, I think they're going for 13, and by the time the series got canceled, they only found eight, so it's kind of just leaves you in the lurch. You know, it's, it's to be continued, and we're never gonna see the rest of it, which is unfortunate. But the show is amazing if you've never seen it. Uh, there's also a couple of video games I just showed in the last pickup video, I think, the Sega Genesis Pirates of Dark Water. I already had the Super Nintendo. Now I got the DVD, which means, that's right, subset complete. Cha-ching, baby. 30th Booty Bonanza. Special edition version. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's do some Nintendo Powers. I finally got some more Nintendo Powers to show. Very excited about that. First one, I already own. It's a label upgrade if you want. Uh, and that is number 15 with uh, Ninja Gaiden 2. Um, really just nice condition. My other one, the spine, was non-existent. So 
Uh, I was glad to find this at a local shop, no less. I didn't, uh, uh, like, you never find them in local shops, so that was really cool. Um, same thing with this, volume 17 with Final Fantasy on the cover. My spine was jacked. What's it with these this strategy guide ones, these red cover ones with the jacked up spine? Anyway, uh, again, great condition. Uh, and then these three I did not have. Um, first is number 92 with Shadows of the Empire on the cover. And this is important for a couple reasons because it's when you're collecting Nintendo Power, if you're going for, you want all the posters and inserts and stuff, you gotta be careful with this one because there's a bunch of, there, there's several inserts in this one. There's the poster, there's a, uh, a calendar, oh crap, no, I don't even know. There's like three things in this thing. So you gotta be careful that you're getting all of them if you're going for a complete uh, thing. Plus, this issue has uh, variant covers. There, this is the Stormtrooper one. There's one with IG-88, um, Boba Fett, and Dash Rendar, I believe, are the other ones. So I think there's four total, but I got the Stormtrooper one. Okay, uh, this comes all the way from Robert Kelly. Oh, from San Pedro, California. So uh, thank you, Robert Kelly. I don't think I got it from Robert, but uh, what was once yours is now mine. And that's volume 94 of Nintendo Power with Turok. Turok, I think the first one for 64 on the cover. And then the final one, and this also comes from Robert Kelly. That's crazy. Uh, there you go. And that's volume 101 with uh, Extreme G on the cover. So I think I'm only missing, of the first 100, I'm only missing issues 98 and 99. And the friggin' store that I got these at had them, but I didn't have my list with me and I wasn't sure which ones I was missing, so I didn't get them. Ah! So hopefully I can go back and they'll still be there. Not sure. Anyway, uh, Super Nintendo games on this epic-sized 30th edition of Booty Bonanza. Let's get this underway. I'm gonna start with a couple box games. I never get box games. I do get box games. Every once in a while I get box games. I don't know why I said that. I was stupid. Um, but I found a couple box games. I didn't really care that they were boxed. They just, that's how they happen to be. Uh, and the first one is Rampart. Now, I got this, I kept the sticker on it, so it was $12.99. Now, the box is nothing to write home about. It looks like it's got some water damage. Um, but it did come with, oh, and it didn't have the um, cardboard inside. It did, however, have a very perfect version of Rampart with a nice crispy label. And then it had uh, all the inserts, and like all the inserts, it had the instruction manual, had a, what is this, a poster or a map or something? Oh yeah, Rampart poster came with it. That's that's cool. Excuse me. Uh, so yeah, I thought twelve ninety nine was a worthwhile deal to get all that. Uh, so I have Rampart. Uh, and then the next one uh, got this on Instagram. So I'm always plugging Instagram as a good place to go for uh, claim sales uh, for video games. Uh, and this is Micro Machines. So this is a more uncommon game for the Super Nintendo. Really fun, actually. And it's also one of the games that you can do four player on if you have the multi-tap. So uh, that is pretty sweet and it's really, it's, it is really fun. Uh, I enjoy it. Uh, kind of that top down. Uh, it's almost got, like if you played off-road, it's kind of like off-road. Ish. I don't know. Ha! 30th edition Booty Bonanza. Okay, now straight up cart only Super Nintendo games, of which I have a lot because I started knocking out a bunch of sports titles this time. I, I basically, if I come across a cheap sports title with a clean label, I'll pick it up. That's kind of my, uh, my thing right now. Uh, so first one, Tommy Moe's Winter Extreme Skiing and Snowboarding. Yeah, a lot of these I haven't even played yet. Uh, a lot of the sports ones. Ken Griffey presents Mage... Oh, Ken Griffey Jr. Excuse me. 30th edition, Booty Bonanza. Ken Griffey Jr. presents Major League Baseball. So he's got two games. One of them's good. One of them's not. I think this is the good one. I'm not sure. Uh, ESPN Sunday Night NFL. NHL 95 EA Games. It's... No. EA Sports. It's in the game. Did I do that right? I don't even remember. <laughs> uh, I think it says it when you boot when you boot that up. Mm, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Championship pool. A little billiards action. I have a wide variety of sports here. Baseball, skiing, pool. Uh, NBA Live 95. 
Super Baseball 2020. This is a fun game, futuristic, kind of cartoony baseball game. It's fun. Uh, okay, moving on. I think now we're out of sports games. Uh, Ultima, the False Prophet. So this is a RPG. I don't get into RPGs that much, but that is that. This one, okay, so these next two I actually got as just label upgrades. Uh, I went to a store and it was one of those stores that had all their popular games priced a little high, but all the games like Uncommon, they didn't realize were worth more, had them priced really low. Uh, and that this is one of them, Magic Sword, really crisp, clean label. I was really happy to find that. Again, this is a label upgrade. Uh, and then uh, Brawl Brothers. So, uh, and I kept the label on it, it was $7.99. Now, uh, this was a, a really nice label, and Brawl Brothers is going up in price. It's a nice little beat em up on the Super Nintendo. So I picked it up. I mean, a trade bait, to, or I think this is a better label than my actual Brawl Brothers. I'll, I'll, I'll check. But anyway, I wasn't going to pass that up. It was a good deal. All right. Next, we got Battle Blaze, a fighter, dime a dozen on the Super Nintendo fighter games, and that's not a very good one. Super Bomberman. Been looking for this for a while. I have Super Bomberman 2 and the multi-tap, which means, you guessed it, subset complete. 30th edition, Booty Bonanza. Very special edition, very special. Shanghai 2, Dragon's Eye. Uh, Sequest, DSV. This is based on like a show or a movie or something? I've never heard of it. I've never seen it. You guys ever seen it? I don't know. It's some sort of weird like submarine game. You you literally look like uh, a very phallic looking blue sub. Of course, all subs are phallic looking, but you're like a sub underwater shooting missiles. I don't know. I, I played it for like a second. I wasn't, I wasn't too impressed. Uh, okay, getting down to the end here. Wing Commander Secret Missions. Uh, I don't even, I, I haven't played that game yet. I don't know what to tell you about it. It's some sort of space game about secret missions. World Heroes, another fighting game. And uh, Lock On, which is a jet fighter simulator. It's actually like kind of fun. It's, you're, you're like dog fighting in jets. It's almost, uh, it's like Top Gun. You're dog fighting and it was, I don't know, it was okay for, uh, you know, a cheap, little cheap game. It was kind of fun. Now we're down. To the good ones. The creme de la cremes, of which there are two creme de la cremes, but three games. You'll see what I mean in a second. 30th edition Booty Bonanza, very special. Okay, the first one. This could be a creme de la creme all on its own. Uh, very excited. I've been looking for this for a while. I went into my local store that I go to. They get a lot of trades, so uh, it, you can constantly tell when, when their stock is new, because I see all the same games all the time, so you, when you you see, oh, there's a Super Metroid. Someone must have come in and traded in a collection because that's typically what happens. Well, I thought on a random day, I'd go check the store, see if they had anything. Uh, and this particular game I'd been looking for forever. And I thought, man, it'd be cool if I walked in and they had it. And sure enough, I willed it into existence. It was there sitting on the shelf, almost waiting for me. There was like no other new games there. Only that one. What other friggin' odds? And that moment where you're like, oh my god, clerk, come help me, someone get it off the shelf and in my hands before someone else wants it, ah, you know, that like anxiety moment you have while you're getting a game. Well, anyway, it's mine now, and I'm very excited, very clean, crisp label, and uh, that is Harvest Moon. So one of the, uh, one of the big boys on the Super Nintendo, um, very happy. Oh, and on top of it, that particular store has like a punch card deal, and I had a full punch card, which meant I, I got money off. So I got this game for super cheap compared to what it's going for. Um, and that's all I'm gonna say about that. Very excited, Harvest Moon, 30th edition, Booty Bonanza. Then this last one is very special because uh, it was a trade I made with a fellow Cartridge Club member, Cartridge Canuck, you can look him up on Twitter, or the Cartridge Club, he hosts the weekly Google Hangouts if you're part of the Cartridge Club. Uh, great guy, Paul. I hung out with him in Portland uh, at the last Retro Gaming Expo. And uh, we made this trade a long time ago, and he just took forever to send it. 
and it's finally here. I'm very excited. And he, he wrote me a little note. I'm going to read it for you. Hey, Curtis. Sorry these took so long to be sent out. I hope that you'll forgive my tardiness in exchange for minis. In exchange for minis of my, oh, for minis of my favorite chocolate bar, Mr. Big. So miniature versions of his favorite chocolate bar, Mr. Big. Thanks again for the Genesis games. That's what I traded him. And hope to see you again in the future. Your Canadian connection, Paul. So this went across country lines. Uh, that was awesome. So yeah, I traded him some Genesis games and he, by the way, I have an example of Mr. Big right there. So ironic because this is a miniature version of it. But what are the games we traded? Well, the first one was Maui Mallard in Cold Shadow, which I believe I'm gonna go ahead and say it's the last Disney game I needed for Super Nintendo, which means, you guessed it, subset complete. But that wasn't the game I really wanted. No, no, the game that I had my eye on was this bad boy, and this has shot up in price and rarity. Well, no, I guess it was always kind of rare, but it has shot up in price like crazy lately on the old uh, interwebs. So if you track it down for a good price, snag it up. Uh, and that is Zero the Kamikaze Squirrel. Whatcha! So yeah, fun little uh, platformer starring a kamikaze squirrel. Woo! And um, very hard to come by for the Super Nintendo. So I was very excited. Uh, so thank you, Paul, a.k.a. Cartridge Canuck. Um, you're the best. My Canadian connection. And I thought for you guys I would eat do you guys know what Mr. Big is? So it's a Canadian bar. We don't have them here. At least I don't think so. It's got the French on it, so it must be Canadian. It's kind of like a mix between a Crunch Bar and a Twix. It's got caramel, it's got like Rice crispy and chocolate. Um, and it is friggin' delicious. So this is the very last one I had, Paul. I'm gonna eat it on camera just for you. Here we go, see? So it's a little chocolate bar thing. I don't know how long I need to show it before. Okay. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mmm. That is freaking good. Ah. Mmm. We just. I'm not a big chocolate guy. These are so good. He sent me like 20 of them. No, oh, I've been savoring each one. Okay. Well, anyway. Happy 30th Booty Bonanza, everybody. Until next time, boyfriend out.